Hebu tuambie your relationship between wewe na Sabina. No she's a cool person. Yeah. Very very cool. Uh-huh. When you mna muona uh-huh. and then she's like but everyone everyone likes uh-huh. Mikai. You don't mind the age. Huh? See, it is just a double we can do, add add subtract <laughs> divide and multiply. Lakini hata mimi si mdogo. Ah. Una yale yote kama mimi nimemtangulia. What's up people? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your lady Faith Lawino again with another interesting video. If you know that you're new to my YouTube channel, kindly consider to subscribe. Leave a sweet comment down below and let me know what you're thinking about. So today guys, well, nimekutana na ni sijui nitumie lugha gani. Nimeona simba nika the most humble. Aha. Uh, kijana mimi nasema kijana mpole uh-huh. atumimi adarati uh-huh. hakunywi pombe uh-huh. apendi wasichana uh-huh. apendi ngono anapenda tumungu <laughs> ndio huyu mimi sasa the best uh-huh. piece when you speak from home bay county where <laughs> so, uh-huh. so guys so mkiona mm. tu leo today i have a very amazing person hapa ndani kwa our show ataji introduce himself na pia atawaambia what we are going to talk more about na just grab your popcorn sapo just calm down and relax to watch his video yeah ukaje because it's about to go down it's about to go down <laughs> down <laughs> down da 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 uko poa ukaje lakini uko poa kabisa uh, thank you so much mm. eh najua imekuwa too long mm. tumearrange kitu but today mungu finally, finally exactly. god has done it yeah. today eh Okay simi uko hebu tuambie hey guys leo tuko na simi Kenya tunaenda kupiga story na yeye atuambie moja mbili yana pia pale kwenye mtandao tunaona kama kuna kitu ina trend pale tutajua nini naendelea hmm. ye na ha? Mikai Kwa <laughs> <laughs> unajua Mikai? Unajua Mikai so bila mwenye so guys nilela nile mtakuta nijue hmm. what's going on cuz hata ukiangalia profiles nseme WhatsApp profile yake mm-hmm. amemweka Facebook ndio amemweka so simi hebu leo tuambie what's going on na before tuende hapo mm-hmm. najua hiyo itakuwa deep story mm-hmm. utuambie how is your, how has been your journey ya uh, YouTube imekuwaaje hebu mm-hmm. tuambie YouTube sana sana actually na you know me si kwa ya mini YouTube kitambo uh-huh. mimi nilikuwa mtu wa Facebook even if you look at my ratings yeah. my Facebook is always higher than YouTube mm-hmm. in fact by the time i was losing my Facebook page my first Facebook page uh, in uh, in uh, October mm-hmm. it was of 100,000 yeah. then now we started another one which is right now almost at 45,000 mm-hmm. within 2 3 months mm-hmm. so My ratings on Facebook is always high. So Mimi mm-hmm. initially when I was starting online uh, entertainment and uh, mm-hmm. content creation mm-hmm. sikuwa ya mini YouTube. Mimi nilikuwa na, nafanya tu vitu zangu Facebook mm-hmm. na tukua naweka YouTube. I don't even follow up siangalia hata watu wangapi wa view, yeah. subscribers nini nini. Mm-hmm. So one day uh, I met a friend because my my Facebook yangu ilikuwa imefika 1000 subscribers yeah. na watch time kila kitu ilikuwa tu sawa mm-hmm. so they sent a message ni apply hiyo monetization uh, monetization na hiyo yeah. nini uh, the box whatever the address so i applied yeah. unfortunately ile address nilitumia mm-hmm. haikuwa inafanya so i had to reapply yeah. so i no i didn't re- reapply at that time So one day I met a friend of mine called Samuel mm-hmm. Sam Apwot. Mm-hmm. So Apwot told me bana your YouTube is doing good. <laughs> Sam Apwot. He's, he's called Apwot uh-huh. but he, he's very big. He's uh-huh. not a pot. He's not a pot like his name. I mean ishinda kweli. Mnapeleka. So, so uh-huh. Apwot told me uh-huh. bana YouTube ni cha dema bear. Uh-huh. Gicha kija me dogo serious. Yeah. It can it can help it you it can help you yeah. and then one day to mbili mm-hmm. uh, niliweka vitu status and then to mbili replied and said i wish this channel was monetized mm-hmm. wow yeah so i started thinking like okay so why are these people concerned about this monetization thing yeah. how 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 big is it? i mean mm-hmm. is it so then it is ndolo the mm-hmm. upward i call him ndolo because he's samuel ndolo but now known as samuel what yeah so it is ndolo who 
uh, did even the application. Mm -hmm. We monetized the, the YouTube the channel. Yeah. You time we got to monetize. To lipa taka me ille kuna ille zile advertisement to napewa kabla kabla we monetize. To lipa taka zime leta kituka twenty nine k. Because I'm a kumbi kitu ina is a letter better. Then now I started to put more effort. Yeah, well, cool. on uh, you on YouTube, YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, on YouTube. Facebook ni likuwa tu sawa. Facebook ni kwa sawa. So huko huko na isi batishi. Eh, lakini sasa YouTube ni likuwa na batisha. Then after that, now we started putting more effort on YouTube, uh -huh. and it's doing well so far. So good. okay, see me. I yeah. know maybe someone who is watching this channel at Aqua. Like, when did you started watch? When did you started? Yani kwa kwa social. Yani ku start your YouTube channel. When did you started? Na Facebook pia. A Facebook ni meka na yo. Actually, I now uh, when I started the talk show yeah. in uh, on first of July twenty twenty, mm -hmm. it was during COVID. Mm -hmm. You know, before that, I used to host a comedy show called uh, the Antonu Comedy Show in Kisumu. Mm -hmm. It was a big show. We took out Najaza Kujaza Hall, mm -hmm. and then now when COVID came, everything stopped. Mm -hmm. So everybody was going online, musicians, everybody. Yeah. So. I started, uh, I asked myself, now what are we going to do? We have to do something online. Mm -hmm. Then I came up with the talk show on 1st of July, 2020. Wow. And that's how now I started being online. Uh -huh. So it can end, it can end, it can end. Uh, December the same year to catch a break mm -hmm. because I was experiencing challenges with yeah, equipment because mm -hmm. at that time I was using a studio mm -hmm. so you know you have to hire the studio you have to pay and all that yeah so I took a break then now we came back in uh, June 9th of June 2021 mm -hmm. so I think from now 1st of June 2021 that's when now in oh, the peak yeah Wow, that's an amazing journey. Yeah. Naibu tuambie, challenge gan, challenges gani umepitia sana kwa hiyo ni as you start when you started your journey ya YouTube, mm. umepitia challenge gani? Unajua cause maybe when you wana watch, mm. okay, I'm hata mimi kitambo when yeah. before I start my YouTube channel, mm. niki watch nilikuwa naona to where the journey go too smooth. Everything is Everything, just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Nikwambia tangu nipate hii kitu. <laughs> Hii ndiyo inatoka Gai. silaha. Hii ndiyo silaha Gai. ya content creation. Ebu, ebu tuambie, mm. we ulizo vaka maje. Okay, uh, when I started, yeah. it was challenging because, um, you see, like I told you, mm -hmm. I didn't have anything. Oh, yeah. I only had the idea. Mm -hmm. So this idea came mm -hmm. when uh, I used to MC, when musicians were performing live, you mm -hmm. na MC during Corona. Yeah. na MC. So one day, mm -hmm. Freddy Yakadongo was performing live mm -hmm. at Omega One Studios. Mm -hmm. So I said, now, who jama anaenda live? Me sing on a music, so I can't do music live. Yeah. What can I do live? Mm -hmm. Let me come up with a content, then I started. So you know, I don't have anything. Mm -hmm. Including you sing Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So everything belongs to those people. Mm -hmm. So you know, it became challenging because sometimes wao pia wameenda shughuli zao, wamepata kazi zingine, we uko na mgeni hapo the show bounces. Yeah. So um, another thing was guests. Mm -hmm. You know Kisumu, I used to be based in Kisumu, mm -hmm. but Kisumu ni dogo. Yeah. So it reached a point in Likwani me exhaust. Guest, mm -hmm. whatever Kisumu. Mm -hmm. Yani, kila mtu unaiza leta kwa show, mm -hmm. ilikuwa ni meleta. Where? So you end up coming to Nairobi to do a show and then go back to Kisumu, uh -huh. or you have to repeat, mm -hmm. or do a show that is not going to sell. Mm -hmm. Then that is also one. Then another one, mm -hmm. which, which happened to Kianza Anza, I think the first two, three weeks, mm -hmm. Likwani guests who oh, miss yeah. who miss show because mm -hmm. yeah. you know at that time I'm disappointed. Hey, I'm going to kill a kid. I'm going to kill a kid. I'm on my way. After ten minutes, I know. Unajua ni lienda mi matanga ingine sidi si ayandi ni likuwa na dani na you know. Uh, I understand. And at that time you have paid for the studio or you have already hired the studio. They show us to you know. Uh -huh. But I thank God I had a guy called uh, Dimore. Yeah. Uh, Dimore was my DJ. You know, if you watch mm -hmm. my shows, Mikianza, mm -hmm. uh, I was hosting, mm -hmm. then I had my super DJ, mm -hmm. Dimore, yeah. at my back there. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when the guest, Ajakuja, mm -hmm. to show na Dimore mpaka isha. <laughs> and we call it a night. <laughs> <laughs> but hapo, sumuko menaenda laws, maybe because, you know, you've hired, you've hired things, mm -hmm. person meenda. Yeah, then you sometimes understand. the viewers feel that you lied to yeah, them. You lied to them, that exactly. Is the most, that is the most painful part Thing, of, of by this interview. Like, unajua sayu ukiambia watu, tutakuwa na simi Kenya jioni. By the way. 
kifedi wale kiyan. watu wake watatu wawili wenye wanamuamini wamengoja they have cancelled their award they have bought uh, their bundles yeah. they are waiting for the show and then mm. the show doesn't happen or you want to tell them Simi is not coming <laughs> it's either they will hate you or hate Simi no yeah. ama they will okay from up una lose fans by yeah. the way you lose fans cuz wanaona kama maybe don't fulfill what you are saying yeah and then they think you are not serious even yeah. if you tell them next time to kona nani what they will be like mpaka tuone uh-huh. hey. so that was challenging to kianza okay see me tukiwa na last year we ulichapa content ukachapa content hebu mm. tuambie from naona kama i don't know kama ulikuwa una solve uh-huh. <laughs> Hadi kwa kwa pasta. Zingine tunaomba, zingine ilibidi tunaomba kwa sababu mambo ikichemka ile ya kibuga lazima upige mafoni. Zingine pale tunaona pale kuna guys, I'm going kama kama ya polisi nadhani kuna hiyo nini nitawekea. Zingine tu security tight. No security used to be there. It is always there even uh-huh. today. Uh-huh. Even if I have to do a show with you today, uh-huh. there has to be a police officer, a uh-huh. security officer. Uh-huh. There has to be the team there and the management and to make you, sure that everything. You are the one who is paying them. See, our viewers are uh, the ones who are paying them through the week. Lakini hebu tuambie, mbona uliamua ukanini na security zile? Okay, why did you decided to have a security? No because you see, yeah. um some of the shows that we do yeah. are considered controversial yeah. and uh, me most of the people know the way i do my shows yeah. like this is where i do my talk show in nairobi mm-hmm. in kisumu i do my talk show at divine homes yeah. so if everyone if i post a show mm-hmm. and they know the guest is in kisumu mm-hmm. they know the guest will be at divine yeah. if i post a show and they know the guest is in nairobi mm-hmm. for the talk show yep. they know the guest will be at shijamol mm-hmm. so what they know what Uh, during th- that time or even right now mm-hmm. everybody has an enemy by the way yeah, hata we mwenyewe uko na adui wako fulani mwenye nikisema nitakuwa na lawino leo mhm he or she will be like ama hata niongelelea acha nimfuate na najua venu yeah so yeah. we have to make sure that every time we are doing our shows yeah. uh, Uh, everybody is secure mm-hmm. the show is secure mm-hmm. so that we can avoid those unfortunate we have never experienced any but just to prevention is better than cure uh-huh. just to prevent kama kuna yenye inaweza tokea yeah yeah na ebu tuambie vile do you think that size industry yenye tuko mm. it arise ama like for example sisi like us low people yeah. we do sleep ama ni uongo wajalu tunalala sana uh-huh. true At least um, lakini mm. we have to okay may say the mention mm. but we have to rise up mm. we have to support each other like for example, if you know that you are reviewing this you are watching this video maybe kama tulikuomba interview kindly just support us yeah. unajua through that interview see it and support mimi we, it's i think it go 50 50 actually you see what happens eh? Quite, yeah. when when i was starting the talk show yeah. i told you guests walikuwa wana miss yeah they never showed up some mm-hmm. just didn't want to come and yeah. all that because in their mind they think they are building your channel yeah but not knowing mm-hmm. that your channel mm-hmm. can you know if you call me for an interview today mm-hmm. and i don't show up mm-hmm. you can still get someone else yeah exactly. which means your channel will still grow will still grow your channel can do with or without yeah. me as a guest mm-hmm. but if i have something that i feel or that i believe is what sharing on your channel mm-hmm. if i don't share it on your channel yeah. it, it is not going to be shared yeah. so i think let us not look at it as if guests uh, guests sasingine huwa feel ni kama tuna tuna gain this what they gain nothing yet uh-huh. most of the time like if you look at you know i have right now i have like four shows yeah you know we have kodiluo mm-hmm. every tuesday we have um, onagi show mm-hmm. uh, we have uh, the talk show mm-hmm. so the talk show deals mostly with most trending issues yeah you understand mm-hmm. so uh, if something is trending mm-hmm. uh, maybe umevutana na mimi mm-hmm. but ile kitu unaandika kwa online yeah. can you cannot explain everything yeah, if exactly. i bring you on my show you, you can't explain explain yeah to everything. everyone everyone because uh-huh. so that those who are mistaking mistaking you, you can understand yeah. you it has happened so many times mm-hmm. kuna wenye walikuwa wali, wanachukiwa wanachukiwa uh-huh. lakini the moment they came to my show and talk and talk about people like it. ah kumbe ana kwanga mzuri hivi yeah. kumbe tumekuwa tuki mistake you mm-hmm. know who is benefiting alafu pia unajua ukiongelea mm-hmm. it doesn't hurt you cause kuna wenye wakihold something maybe you gonna something to speak out yeah. no need of keeping it 
ku silent mm. with you una, unaelewa yeah. at least you talk it out ukikuja mimi kwa show you talk it hapo ndo tutapata maybe solution of your problem exactly. so si lazima tukikuja kwa show it sisi ndo tuna gain mm-hmm. no sio hivyo it's, it's, yeah. it's a mentality out there i think um, uh, like i told you wajaluo it's not but ni sisi ni wajaluo ndo tukona eh tukona hiyo tabia by the way because uh, one they don't know what showbiz is mm-hmm. two they take things personal mm-hmm. three they they believe mm-hmm. that for you to grow mm-hmm. If they don't participate mm-hmm. you are not going to grow mm-hmm. so they believe like your success mm-hmm. is in their hands mm-hmm. so that if they don't open their hands for you mm-hmm. you are not going to to succeed but you see those are mentalities that are not are not they don't work anymore because ukiangalia sana sana showbiz mm-hmm. why do you think recommend is relevant up to date unajua hata show comedy show alipinga mwisho ilikuwa which year ili alipiga show yake one man the last one man show I think I think it was 2017. Yeah. Akakuja akapiga stadium tour. After that Eric Omondi hajai enda comedy show nyingine but up to date today people still talk about Eric Omondi why? Because of showbiz. Mm-hmm. So that you keep being relevant. People yeah. don't ask when nani alienda wapi. Alienda wapi? You understand? Mm. So that is something our people need to work on. We have very many artists who are doing well musically hey. but their music cannot go beyond kwenda uh, yeah, yeah. venue na perform mm-hmm. they cannot today if, if i ask you how many excuse lazima showbiz ifanywe ndio kitu yako isonge exactly yeah. because if i ask you how many luo musicians are brand ambassadors out here eh I'm can you even mention two or three i don't know but look at nini kikuyu musician samido ni brand ambassador muraya sijui brand ambassador imagine sijui nani brand ambassador kila mtu ni akuna brands kama tatu 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 yet people call them scandalous yeah you understand So long as you have not stolen from somebody, mm-hmm. you have not killed somebody, you have not beaten somebody. Mm-hmm. Why do you call it scandal? By the way, these are just showbiz. You grow your brand, you be relevant and you make money. Yeah. Mm. And na pia last year see me. Wewe ulitupeleka mbio. Na hii mbio mwaka sasa ni moto. Wewe tukivunga mwaka, you are okay, you launch a very amazing ilikuwa ni yeah il, mm. ilikuwa ni dental uh, ni dr no, chem dr chem we launched on uh, 22nd september last september year september last year uh, and then uh, on 2nd december we launched onagi show which is now a luo yeah. stand up comedy show but kwa hiyo ya dr chem wewe mm. ulitupeleka mm. unajua tulidhani mm. <laughs> kuna rorashio na vile nilikuwa course najaribu kutafuta dera huku na huku uzipe utingize <laughs> <laughs> By the way, hebu tuambie unajua kwenye mimi sikufika huko. Hebu tuambie size how is Dr. Shem? Hebu tuambie tueleze Dr. Shem Dental Clinic is the best dental clinic in Kenya right now. Yeah. Certified, tested and approved. <laughs> exactly. If you see is it affordable? Very. Uh-huh. And the good thing is that they accept all insurance cover. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. even if you don't have the money, mm-hmm. na umekuwa ukilipa insurance, mm-hmm. you are good to go. That's why we call it the best then to re- certified dentist and approved wow hey. vile size iko nairobi <laughs> yeah so they have two branches the but then now advertisia eh watanilipa ah daktari daktari sio mtu hivi hivi atashughulikia hiyo ah daktari atafanya kitu so uh, you know they used to be in uh, kisumu. kisumu yeah so each and every year mm-hmm. we have we sit down yeah. with daktari mm-hmm. and then uh, we say now what are we going to do this year next year yeah. this new year Mm-hmm. So when we were crossing over to 2021 mm-hmm. I told him mm-hmm. he wanted to do a project a certain project yeah. a personal project yeah. then I told him mm-hmm. I think before you do this project mm-hmm. we need to have a branch in Nairobi yeah. because the main challenge that I've experienced mm-hmm. ni watu kuniuliza Nairobi mnapatikana wapi yeah exactly Kisumu muko Nairobi mnapatikana wapi yeah. But unajua ni mtu wangu tunaelewana tunaona venye tunapanga kazi mm-hmm. he bought the idea mm-hmm. and right now the mm-hmm. clinic in Nairobi is doing is uh, in Nairobi is doing good mm-hmm. and the one in Kisumu is even doing much better yeah. and then the launch came mm-hmm. after tulipanga well, kila kitu the launch uka came propose <laughs> well <laughs> tukaleta mrembo juu ya warembo bila ya warembo lakini mbona ulificha mikai <laughs> au mikai ali anajua hiyo maneno unajua <laughs> mikai anaelewa ni maneno ya kazi <laughs> lakini kwa hiyo kazi kazi nyingine ikitokea pia tunafanya <laughs> <laughs> eh hey, lakini we lakini mm-hmm. last year ulikuwa tight mm-hmm. 
mimi kaya kenda campaign una una yani uko na yeye yeah, you, 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 you are bond with you are bond with, uh, with Mikai, Mikai. Hey. okay unajua mtu ako like Mikai ni nani uh-huh. Sabina Chege mm-hmm. ni unajua kitambo alikuwa anaitwa uh-huh. Sabina Wanjiru Wanjiru wa Chege Wanjiru wa Chege yeah siku hizi anaitwa Sabina uh-huh. Wasimi uh-huh. wa Chege wow naona Sabina Wasimi wa Chege wacha ile wa Chege tuliacha kwa sababu alishatoka Sabina Wasimi Wasimi Chege Well, so, a, you are relationship with between Sabina mm, Wasimi Chege. Photoshop. kitu. na namba yako. Wangeangalia profile yako. Wangeamini si Photoshop. Lazingine hata ni yeye anawajibu akupiga kelele. Hebu tuambie your relationship between wewe na Sabina. So she's a cool person. Yeah. Very very cool. Uh-huh. Venye mnamuona uh-huh. and then she's like but everyone everyone likes uh-huh. Mikai. You don't mind the age. Huh? See, it's just a double we can do add add some drag the multiple. But you know I'm missing dogo. Ah, uh, do you know you have a girlfriend from uh, Uganda I think uh-huh. Uganda kwani uh-huh. ashtuki hata nimetoka huko jana yeah i know uh-huh. ashtuki ah, ama naelewa hizo mambo no 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 unajua hii dunia uh-huh. kuna kuna watu kuna mtu anaitwa Mikai uh-huh. Mikai ni yule bibi wa got wife yeah mama yao uh-huh. yeye anaweza fanya mkutano nyumbani kama kama uh-huh. bwana yuko uh-huh. then kuna huyo wa pili Then kuna Nyachira. Where? Nyachira sasa anakuanga wanaitwa then after Mikai kuna Nyachira. Yeah. Alafu kuna Oluwokado. You know Oluwokado? Yeah. Oluwosup. <laughs> si eskia yetu Oluwokado. Oluwosup sasa ni. Uh-huh. Unajua ukioa Mikai, uh-huh. kila mtu mwenye anawanga bibi ya kwanza. Uh-huh. Hawangi kama ako na pesa, uh-huh. kama ame stabilize. Yeah. So ndio maana unasikia eti oh tuliteseka na wewe, ulianza uh-huh. msijui nini, you know. Uh-huh. So huyo ni Mikai. Uh-huh. Mikai kila mtu anaanzanga na Mikai kama hana kitu. Aha. Then Nyachira Aha. anakujanga kama kitu iko lakini haiko sana. Na nini Nyachira? Eh? Yule wa nini ndo Nyachira? Sasa yule ah. sasa <laughs> sasa Oluwokado. Oluwokado ni eh. yule enkuru biro luo meat eh. soup. Eh. Kuru joka no se lo so soup. Mm-hmm. Kuru ene ngama biro luo. <laughs> Eh mimi ndio ngeno ndio kada. Unaona? Sivyo ni mbaya. You are a but I'm a good person. Yeah. Nilikwambia mimi ni kijana mzuri. Pole, mimi ni adarache, mimi pombe, napendi wasichana na napendi ngono. So hata hao nyenye niko na wao wote. Wapendi. Hatujawahi fanya chochote. Mko ni pendi hiyo kitu. I said to myself that I will never have sex before marriage. Eh hey. that is the biggest in fact sahi Mungu akuja aseme kila mtu mwenye hajawahi fanya hiyo kitu before marriage when na Mikai tamka Mikai mimi naye nitaenda mimi naye nitaenda <laughs> but Mikai is cool yeah uh, i we met actually you know people sometimes ask how did you meet this yeah ebu tuambie vile muli meet mm. you know na kama this year kuna tuanze kushona mavitenga ama uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mitenga hata mkishona Amu tafika penye tunafanya rusu Juta tufanya Afrika Embassy na kuja Daire Labda ukue sasa kama mtu wanaona mpira Unaona wale kapa Argentina na France Lakini umebaji azi Argentina Ario So So It was in 2019 It was on It was 4th of October yeah. 2019. Mm-hmm. So what was happening mm-hmm. uh, the late governor of um, of uh, Nani of uh, where where this Isaac Ruto comes from Lois Joyce Laboso uh-huh. had uh, passed. So alienda Matanga. Yeah. So unajua aliolewa na mjaluo. Mm-hmm. So venye walitoka Matanga mm-hmm. they came to a function mm-hmm. where was the MC. Yeah. Their function was called Luo Women Worldwide mm-hmm. uh, launch. Mm-hmm. They were launching Luo Women Worldwide yeah. had formed an organization and now they were launching the organization mm-hmm. in Kisumu. Mm-hmm. So they came there Milo Gesa Gesa was there uh, Governor Wanga was there by mm-hmm. then she was um, a women rep. Yeah. Um, Uh, Mikai was there mm-hmm. and then uh, kuna picha nyingine huwa tulipiga tulipiga na yeye ni kiva white na brown brown uh-huh. and then she was wearing blue 
and then I thought that you look on your campaign. No, no, no. That was very long time. That was the day. The first that day you met. So me make a photo up. Oh. Yeah, and I'm so many Photoshop. <laughs> Real. No, it is not a Photoshop. Yeah, it's real. So me me nika muambia. Unajua. Mimi kwa hii dunia kama kuna kitu nimewahi tamani ni wewe. Nikukutana na wewe. <laughs> and then you know I was the MC then yeah. I'm also funny. Uh-huh. Niliuwa show uh-huh. and then she came and said yeah. you are very funny. What's mm-hmm. your name? And then she didn't even know my name. Uh-huh. I told him I mean I told her my name. Uh-huh. And then I told her uh-huh. the only thing I want from you is not even money. Uh-huh. Nipatie tu namba yako hata kama hautakuwa <laughs> unaniongelea. <laughs> you understand? Uh-huh. Then uh we have changed contact uh-huh. akania nikamwambia tupige picha uh-huh. kuna picha tulipiga uh-huh. unaona then tukapiga picha nikamwambia uh-huh. tujifanye ni kama sisi ni watu tumejuana for long uh-huh. eh smile nikiongea tunacheka ni kama uh-huh. tunajuana sana uh-huh. eh so, tukapiga picha uh-huh. the rest is history uh-huh. so uh, but eh, ebu tuambie are we going to expect something between uh, between you and mikai everything will always come at the right time uh-huh. but ni mtu mzuri very cool uh-huh. very calm uh-huh. and straightforward uh-huh. ni mtu anapenda vitu zikiwekwa wazi uh-huh. vitu zikilainishwa uh-huh. ni mtu tu na hata tangu nianze kuongea na yeye so unaona Kiswahili yangu si mbaya sana hebu uh, simu hebu hey. mm-hmm. uh-huh. sasa the story of Chiloba Uh-huh. How do you feel? Yeah, okay, hiyo ni hiyo story imekuwa touch challenge. Na wewe ume okay, ushasikia hiyo story ya Chiloba more about it na nini iliendelea like and how do you feel it? Uh, first of all, yeah. Me is Jesus and he so has. <laughs> But so liake itulie. Uh-huh. It's like my little baby boy. Eh, it's my his or her. Which is so you know I like, can be here yeah. to her uh-huh. was but has to suffer. Yeah. Uh-huh. So may the soul of uh-huh. Chiloba rest in peace uh-huh. that's first and then uh, two uh-huh. sometimes back I was on radio yeah? uh-huh. so we attended a workshop yeah. where we were being told that uh, never judge someone uh-huh. based on three things yeah. one uh-huh. their source of income uh-huh. two their uh-huh. source of uh, fun uh-huh. wewe inaweza kuwa eti ukilewa ndio unabambika uh-huh. kuna mtu akilala ndio ana have fun ndio yeah. anakuwa sawa uh-huh. and then the third one uh-huh. is their sexual orientation yeah. so sexual orientation that's where now we have the lgbtq we have the you know bisexual transgender yeah. uh-huh. gays and lesbians yeah uh-huh. so you cannot judge someone based on that yeah, because exactly. the same way uh-huh. you someone is straight uh-huh. is the same way someone is not straight uh-huh. so there is always two sides Unaona sasa hii tuko nyuma ya mbele ya kamera. Yeah. Si kuna nyuma yake. Mm-hmm. Hatuwezi sema sasa hiyo hapo sio side ya kamera. But now mm-hmm. me personally mimi ni mtu wa mbele daima for whatever. Unaona? Mm-hmm. Because I believe that there is a reason why God created me as a man that I need to be having a woman and not a fellow man. You understand? I understand. So uh, personally mm-hmm. I will not judge based on that. Yeah. But there is something I even always post on my page or my status yeah? mm-hmm. WhatsApp status that no matter what it is in everything you are doing mm-hmm. just make sure you don't take someone's life yeah do not kill yeah maybe if you know you are planning to do something or mm-hmm. for example because when alimua the okay when the suspect is maybe ali come like unajua sisi ndio watu wanamjua watu wako wanamjua yeah, 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 yeah. so unajua maybe unaza fanya kitu eti unataka fame but that go for fame in a correct in a correct way naelewa si ile yani kwa size maybe ni we see me then nijulikane itakuwa like sana nilimua ili nataka fame it doesn't work that way you see your showbiz just do yeah. the right thing because me i always say in everything you do whatever the situation whatever the condition no matter the reason just make sure you do not take someone's life yeah. because the precious gift god ever gave people is life. life the moment you take it you are taking the precious gift that god gave to that person yeah. so whatever it is just make sure you don't kill it yeah it doesn't cost anything mm-hmm. to live to walk away mm-hmm. or to do any other thing because mm-hmm. today we will say people are i, I see people online mm-hmm. saying that uh, Oh he was gay mm-hmm. which was bad you know mm-hmm. do you want to tell me mm-hmm. that those who are 
straight, let's use that term. Mm -hmm. Bibi na buwana. Mm -hmm. We meet those cases every day. Yeah. So it is not the sexual orientation that people should be focusing on yeah, right exactly. now. People should focus on a life that has been lost. Yeah. Because he, he may be gay, yes. Mm -hmm. But pengine, uh, what if agenda out? Akutane na wakora wampige wa muwe. Will people will be still focusing on the gay thing? No. no. So let's just focus on the big issue here that is murder. Yeah. Whatever you are doing, mm -hmm. no matter the situation, no matter the condition, just yeah. make sure you don't take someone's life. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, ukinini yo sorry ya gay, even last, I think last year, yeah. naughty flow, because alieka public, so I think it's not bad to say it on, it on public, because ye pia alieka public. Yeah. Alisime ti, mbwana wanafanyua hivyo, because they're paying even tax, mm -hmm. the same way other people pay, so there's no need of taking, yeah, yani, okay, meet your story, yani iliniuma, yeah, taking see, someone's so long life. As, so long as someone has not been raped yeah. at the bat. Mm -hmm. They have done it willingly, they know why they are doing it. Mm -hmm. You should never judge because mm -hmm. if they ask you why you are straight, what will you say? Yep. Just the same way. So, mm -hmm. I think when it comes to sexual orientation, I'm not advocating for LGBTQ. Yeah. Mimi is your member. Mm -hmm. Na mimi ni mutu wa mbele daima. Nyuma kamwe. Na nasema, mimi kama mutu wa mbele daima, si pingi watu wa nyuma kamwe. Unaona? <laughs> Kila mutu, Abambike benyanata? <laughs> you understand? Rudia! <laughs> <laughs> mimi, mimi kama mutu wa mbele daima. Mm? As a member of a forward ever. Backward? Never. never. Mutu, mimi as a member of a forward ever, I am not opposing or going against the will or the backward. decision of the backward ever. members. That is, they, are, they, they have their own reasons, mm. let them do it, well. but with decorum, mm -hmm. sisi pia tufanye tui yetu, yeah. kwa sababu wakuna si mtu watakuja seme, we mbona ukona dem, mm -hmm. so, you understand? Mm -hmm. So, so long as you don't, you know, interfere with other people's businesses, mm -hmm. just make sure you do your thing, but yeah. at the end of the day, don't take someone's yeah. life. Okay, so guys, najua tumepika story sana, na before tumalize, mm -hmm. make sure... If you know that you are viewing this video, yes. kindly subscribe, na u like, then leave a sweet comment down below. Let me tell them. Yeah. Guys, uh -huh. if you are watching this channel uh -huh. for the first time or for the third or fourth time, uh -huh. make sure you take a moment, uh -huh. subscribe to this YouTube channel, make sure you always watch. Uh -huh. If you find a nice show like this one we have done, uh -huh. you can share with your friends uh -huh. so that this beautiful lady here will not be eating people's fare to survive. <laughs> But we'll be surviving through your views <laughs> and your subscriptions. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>